Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel here. We've got an unboxing. It's been a while actually. Um, just want to thank you all for the amazing feedback on the room tour video that I, I did. It was my last video actually, which is, it's been a while, isn't it? About a month ago. So sorry about that guys. Just, um, I've just been really busy, <laughs> to be fair, as always. Um, but yeah, some really nice comments on that video. I'm glad it turned out um, quite well in the end. So I was always worried about that room tour video, how well it would um, would go down. But obviously Matt did the filming when he was down here towards the end of December. And uh, yeah, he did a great job filming. And I think the, the actual overall video came out really well. So I'm really pleased with that. So let's check out what's going on in this box here today. We can get inside. Hopefully it's not too difficult. Oh, as you come to expect from these unboxings. I'm sure half the fun is watching me struggle though, right? These, what's going on in this box? This is a bit silly. What's going on in this box, man? It's like, welded down if that's possible Jesus Christ guys <coughs> oh my god one of the toughest boxes there we go we're in I also find that always happens as well as, as soon as I like start to not moan but like semi moan <laughs> of the struggle um, that's typically the moment when I do manage to get in, okay. Um, I'm trying to avoid. Let me just off camera slide this out. There we go. Yep. So that's all that's in the box. This nice tissue paper coated figurine. You're going to get a better look at right now. Check that out, guys. <coughs> So yeah, Geek Life, which is actually a really cool Japanese website. Um, they've got some really cool stuff on that website. And this is an Opa Opa figure from, of course, Fantasy Zone, one of Sega's earlier classics. Started out as an arcade game, I believe, Fantasy Zone. And I've got to hand Super Fantasy Zone for the Mega Drive, which is where I first played this game. And fell in love with it. Um, just an awesome game. I'd argue this is my favourite version of the game anyway, the Mega Drive, and it's also been featured on the Mega Drive Minis. Um, really cool ports, or one of them was the uh, one of them on the Astro City, I think, and the other one's on the Mega Drive Mini 2, potentially. Um, awesome game, love it. Can't get enough, enough of its addictive gameplay. Um, I think there's a thing there, so I need to open that. And of course, one of my more recent video unboxings was the actual soundtrack to the game, uh, which is an amazing soundtrack, one of my favourite 16-bit soundtracks. Where have I put that bloody knife? There it is. Right. Um, let's have a think of that. So this is a lovely box. We wouldn't like to wreck this box. I would like to um, keep this box. Obviously, I'd like to take it out of the box. Um, okay. I tell you an idea I had. I'm going to do this, guys. Back in a second. Right, so I had the idea of actually using this rather quite sharp Sword of the Seven Stars. Um, you know, Shenmue. Uh... Look at that. Oh! <laughs> That could be the new butter knife. That's sick, mate. I'm so glad I tried that. Uh, I was just explaining that if you're not a Shenmue fan, I guess you kind of need to be a Shenmue fan. Um, it's more of like a dagger of the seven stars these days. But um, back in the day, Shenmue 2, it was a huge, great sword, floating magical sword. And yeah, this came with the, the Shenmue 3 Collector's Edition, the complete edition collector's edition from limited run games and it's rather sharp actually so 
Uh, that could become the channel's latest titanium butter knife equivalent. <clears throat> I'm sure it's better than that. And let's try and slowly get this out. It looks like there's some sort of cool background artwork. That's just inside the box there, you can see. Is that showing off very well? Oh, I don't know because of the lighting. Let me see if I can pull the internal organs of this box out, which you are able to, which is quite nice, because then you can <coughs> pose it on the scene. Apologies for the coughing, guys. I have. I feel like I'm, I'm always recovering from a cold these days, but I uh, just had a little bit of a cold the past couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, some nice stage artwork, obviously the shop balloons that pop down where you can go buy your upgrades for your weapons and your your boosters your special weapon <coughs> pop this out carefully and it's quite a sizable opa opa figure and some extra packaging protection and there it is guys really cool Sega branded Geek Life 2022. The um, thing doesn't come off. Uh, what sort of material is this? I think it's pure plastic by the feel of it. It's kind of got a little bit of a rubbery feel to it. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. <clears throat> it's a fair chunk of plastic. Um, yeah, it's got that sort of... Actually, it feels like a, a big rubber duck. That kind of plastic like the rear Hatsuki duck that sort of a texture and feel to it but a huge version of that and I don't know if I got anything to compare it to I guess you could compare it to the Mega Drive game there you know I don't know if this is to scale Opa Opa actual size <laughs> if it was to be a real thing <clears throat> but yeah really cool and then I'm guessing you could Place the box and that. Am I showing that off very well? I don't know. This is going to be one of my more disappointing unboxings. But the contents of the unboxing isn't disappointing. <laughs> it's, um, <clears throat> what's the opposite of disappointing? Hmm, what is the opposite of disappointing? Is it just simply the word good? Or is there a more you know, like a 10 character word opposite of disappointed, like unpointed. No, that would be this, wouldn't it? Still a pointed? <laughs> trying to think positive. Why would you have a dis? That's like a, a negative connotation to. Well, oh, that's a big word as well. Uh, I don't know what I'm on about, guys, but yeah, there you go, guys. There's the figure. Opa, Opa. Um, obviously he runs when he's on the ground on T and you can buy the, the lava boots or whatever they are, the metal boots to protect him from the fiery stage and there's his wings, his uh, iconic starter wings yeah, that's basically it guys just a nice short unboxing Geek Life, uh, I'll throw the link in the description I think these were still available the last time I checked and this website also has a whole host of like Space Harrier t-shirts and really cool like full design t-shirts not just like a little shitty graphic in the middle of a shirt it's like full on the whole the shirt is the graphic <laughs> uh, they do that kind of merchandise um, and yeah nice fantasy zone figure to add to my um, my shelf that I might just show off quick, quickly um, I'll probably do like a 20 second static image on where I'm going to put this figure along with my other figures and pop up some links and stuff that you can do subscribe and whatnot and click another video but yeah cheers guys I'll see you soon I'm going to be doing a, a darts live update this is one of the videos is two of the ideas I want to do right guys darts live because I've, I've had a few requests for that dart live darts live dartboard video update showing off the features of the board and the app and all that sort of stuff properly before I didn't really have a setup, I've got a setup now, so why not? Hey, it's been about a year anyway, uh, so I can do like a, a year on sort of video. And the other idea was um, I kind of wanted to do another complete PSVR collection, physical collection, 
um, prior to PSVR launching. It's still not possible because we're still waiting on a few um, games from Limited Run Games and stuff that have uh, taken a year or so to um, actually be manufactured. But if that interests you, if that's some of the content you see that I don't know if you subscribe to my channel for and you just end up watching some other bollocks like this um, on my channel when you're actually like a PSVR fan or a Darts Live fan from that one video I did, then uh, yeah, those videos are coming soon, guys. So <laughs> appreciate the support and uh, take care. I'll speak to you very shortly.